Hi students, Professor Caraway here. I wanted to just walk through the actual process of using the Codeo IDE or Integrated Development Environment. Uh, this is what you'll use when you're completing our programming projects. I've gone ahead and I've logged into Codeo as a student and I'm currently in Module 1. Uh, if you haven't found this out already, you can click on the module drop down here and move through our course. So right now I think at Module 1 and Module 2 are the only active modules. Move back to Module 1, and we're going to work in the programming project here. So I can go ahead and click on the Ready to Go. And this is going to open up the IDE with a, at least a starting file and a README file. Uh, or at least, in this case, just a README file. This gives you the basic instructions. So this little uh, tree view, or uh, tree view here on the left, is listing the files that are available. I'm not sure if you'll see the .codio or .settings. I believe those are only available to me as an instructor. But as you note here in the README file, so this is open, you see the tab for the README, we want to add a new file to our Codeo file tree, and we're gonna call that hello.py, py standing for Python. So I'm gonna move up to the file menu here, click on new file, I'm going to put, just leave the current path as the root folder, meaning in the same structure that's listed in our file tree. And we're going to call this hello.py. Click on OK. And you'll note now that there is a new file in our file tree, that being the hello.py. And we're actually in the tab for the hello.py. So you note, see we have two different files now and this actually will show you which one we're in by what is highlighted. So I'm in the hello.py file and I need to create a uh, statement to print the words hello Python. So we want this to be our output. So I'll move back into the hello.py and we do that by typing the uh, word keyword print, open parenthesis. We put in double quotes our string, so hello Python, okay, and now to test our code, we will just click this little run button with, uh, I guess, rocket ship, and this will open a new window of a terminal window, and we'll actually see the program run. Now, you'll wonder, well, why all this extra? Well, this is kind of part of the opening uh, message from Python, or rather from Codeo. If you want to clear this, you can actually word, write the uh, keyword here, clear, and just hit return. And so that'll clear our workspace. And now if I want, I can go back to my Python page and click run. And you'll note that now in the run window, it's a little bit cleaner. And here's the actual output. Okay, and so this is just the prompt uh, of the system. And you see what's actually being done. When we click this run button, it's actually running this code here. It's saying call the Python 3 uh, interpreter and actually apply or use that in running the file hello.py. So even rather than just clicking run here uh, while in the hello.py file, I can actually just mimic this and type Python 3. I can type hello.py and it'll, it's, well, it's actually type it correctly. Python 3 hello.py and there's our output. Okay, so now that I've got the code working, I've tested it and I like how it's working, uh, I can then return to my Python or my Python, my Codeo uh, main, menu, main window, the um, module window, and you'll note that it says it's in progress because we've opened the file and we've been working in it. If I'm now happy with my work and you want to, and I'm ready to submit this so that the instructor can, can actually check it, I just have to click this completed toggle here and it's gonna ask me to confirm yes, because once I do this, uh, the file or the project moves into a read-only mode. So now it's noted as completed. So then if uh, I'm notified on my side as the instructor that you're project is now ready for me to grade. Now, if you maybe inadvertently have uh, marked it as completed and you want me to open it back up, I'm happy to do that. Just uh, send me a message in Slack and I can uh, reopen the project so that you can return to continue working on that. 
Hope this helps. If you have any questions, please let me know.